Welcome people, episode 15 of my let's play. And the night's coming, but uh, I plan to pull a night a full nighter. You if you remember in our in our last episode we craft uh, we finally crafted our automatic sorting system and now we should be thinking into crafting a storage area. As I told you, I plan to craft the storage area around here using chests and uh, the idea I had in the previous let's play of using well uh, the floor and uh, some of the chests uh, with the highest uh, amount of storage capacity. Now I did forget to add something oh you can see I remove a lot of copper and tin, uh, 8 stacks from each, if I remember right, to craft myself diamonds. With those 8 stacks, uh, I had a surplus of 6 copper or tin, you could use 3 and 3, and uh, make myself 21 diamonds plus 2 sapphires. And I was going to graph from here, yeah. Uh, the other sorting machine. Uh, if you want to know, we all, we forgot that we were going to need to use this uh, sorting machine. There we go. <coughs> this second sorting machine is going to require electric blue electricity. So it's time to fit it to her. And that's because everything that goes in that goes into that uh, black, uh, I don't know what is it uh, here. That means anything that is not an ore, uh, basalt. Co well, let's take that this out of here. Cinnabar ore, rubber wood, or sticky resin. That means anything that doesn't that will not go to the macerator, or the furnaces, or the extractor will go through here. And we want to sort that out. Uh, again, we're going to say everything that goes black is uh, miscellaneous. Uh, no, there we go. Miscellaneous. And we need to add some uh, coloring and the likes. And uh, we're going to craft the chests. Uh, in case you want to know, right now, with the mods I have installed, we have well, all these chests. The Apiaris chest, which is only for bees from... Uh, I will I will remember the name. Sorry. From... Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. From Sir Sanger's Forestry. Uh, there's also the Ender chest, which has the same capacity as a normal chest from Ender Storage the normal chest, the void chest which cannot be crafted is used for nothing and you can find on the bottom of a monolith or alchemical chests which you can see require regular chests iron, diamonds, smooth stone and coalescence dust so let's grab ourselves some of these. Uh, I don't have any ch any already crafted chests, so I'm going to need to craft them myself. But uh, it's no no it's a real problem. We can even craft them the old way, like so. So we place here nine chests. The stone, the iron, the diamonds, and now the coalescence dust. There we go. Nine alchemical chests. I am not going to craft myself more for the time being. So let's place them in here. Uh, let me think for a second. Yeah, here and here. And so I am going to cover this. I will... Let me see. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, nine. 
Perfect. Now we need to place the regular pneumatic tubes. And remember, since we are going to apply color to the ones in here, we need to add uh, two layers. And since I might want to expand this, let's add the second layers on the wall in here. Which of course means we need to light things a little on the floor, because we don't want moths. Monsters spawning down here. Imagine a creeper spawning in here. I mean, I, it, I just uh, kill myself <laughs> if that were a possibility. So now we need to consider how we want to color things. Okay, let's say this is a miscellaneous junk chest. Let's say this is red, this is orange, and this is white. See? They won't connect among each other, and we now need to decide uh, which items we place in here. White, orange, black, red. There we go. Uh, I might need to craft myself some more colors, but for the time being I believe we are good. Nine chests should be more than enough. And uh, we're going to storage uh, the leftovers of our working hi mr zombie how are you doing mm -mm. <laughs> there we go so uh, we're going to grab ourselves a piece of copper a piece of tin uh, okay a piece of gla of brass and refined iron Let's get ourselves a piece of iron, a piece of gold, a diamonds, a piece of obsidian, a redstone, silver, another one we need to consider, <laughs> coal, we do have gold, oh dear, and we have some copper to greens. And I was here rambling around, around and, the, and the like. And uh, Nicolite, oh, lapis, uranium. Mm, yeah, everything else can go through to the miscellaneous junk. Uh, what was I going to do here? Yes, I was going to place this in the macerator since I am not going to use it for now. Let me place it in dusting here. And we're good to go. Okay, and now coloring. I'm going to send to the white slot copper, tin, brass. To the red slot, I'm going to send redstone, coal, nickelite, uranium, diamonds. Yeah, good. Refined iron, silver, iron, and gold will go to the orange. And we're going to need more colors, of course. Let's see what colors do we have left to craft. And here is a little trick if you are not sure of the colors when, uh, in the sorting machine because they are not showing you the well their their name. You can, for example, ask yourself where is the gray paint. Gray paint is here after pink and before light gray. So you go here and say magenta, pink, this is the uh, gray. Gray paint is here. And purple, purple is at the end. Is it to find, uh, is it with, yeah, blue and purple. Perfect. Now let's place this in here and can I go the other side. Oh dear, I don't have a way to cross to the other side. Uh, this is shaming. <laughs> Fortunately, making way is uh, rather easy. There we go. Uh, I place already grey, purple and blue. 
Perfect. And you can see I grabbed myself a bunch of, of items I plan to add here. So let's say uh, I'm going to use gray for yeah working materials, the common the common ones. The most common ones. Yep. Basalt is not really necessary to add in here, but you can see we are going to run out of colors rather quickly. That means uh, the black will go from that miscellaneous junk there to another sorting machine. But uh, since there's no need for that for now, well, we're good. I'm going to place here all these uh, vegetal things and food related, for example. And in blue, we're going to place another sort of miscellaneous junk with obsidian, lapis, rubber, regular wood. And we are mostly set. Uh, let's move diamonds to here and place gold coke in here in the red slot. Yeah. So that's mostly it. I am not really happy because, uh, well, it's rather easy as you can see to run out of space. And I need to remove this in here because I don't really want to anything to go in there. But I can manually add items there if I need to later. And reintegrated into the system is uh, easily an easy proposition. No, you don't go in there. So there we go. The system is ready for a test. I hope. Let's graph ourselves uh, a good amount of different items. For example, this. Well, I'm going to graph them, and I will be with you in a second. Okay, as you can see here, I placed as much items as I was able to. They are right now order uh, thanks to convenient items. And you can see there are items in here, and in here, and in here, not in here, yes in here, and nothing in here. So we are going to turn off the system and pray it won't break. Okay. A stack was taken from here, another stack was, was, stack was, a stack was taken from here. This is empty. Items should be coming on here. Yes, they are doing it. Another is reaching here. Perfect. Nothing is here. The items are being taken from here and at a uh, one point uh, half second interval. I am suffering some lag, sadly. Do know the reason, but you can see the items are being painted black once they finish in there and come here. Uh, did you fi finish up there? Seems so. Uh, we can't open in here, but I suppose... Nope. It is not working. This one is not working, sadly. So we're going to need to make a slight uh, repair. I hope it's just that. But uh, I am afraid it won't be that easy now, will it? Uh, I, I suppose you were screaming at me before because uh, I made a slight mistake or miscalculation in there which will prevent the, the full operation to work. Seems like the filter won't be able to take items from the top. Oh yes, yes it is. It was maybe just jammed. Mm, for some reason the system is also jammed. And that means something is uh, stuck in the system down here. Uh, which means we need to wait. More than likely it's something that needed to go directly to be smelted and is now blocked in here. I'd really like uh, some sort of interface or story or something that tells you what's inside the sorting machine uh, just because when it's blocked you will you might need to 
to know what's inside. And by the way, all items take a slight amount of energy from the system of Blue Tree City. All the sorting machines and the retrievers each time, each time an item uh, cross, crosses them or they are... Um, see, this is stuck. Or they are... what's the, uh, the word? Sorry, I am... Oh yes, or, or they tick. In the case of the retrievers, it's 1.5 seconds, they try to get something. And they spend some blue some electricity power. I seriously don't know what's going on in here, and usually removing one of these should uh, solve the issue. But seems like uh, LRAM removed that uh, capability, meaning there are only two ways of knowing what's inside uh, a sorting machine. One would be to, well, break the sorting machine, and the other would be to place a storage item, by the way, by its, its path. However, I bet I, I bet it's a cinnabar ore was stuck inside, because right now the electric furnaces are working at full capacity, and uh, meanwhile, the macerators are also working at full capacity, <coughs> and there's nowhere to go for the for that. So let's give it time while we do something else, and trust the system will sort itself out given time. In the meantime, we might as well check if we can discover that damn uh, thing I want to discover with these earthen crystals or the beast crystals we have a 22% chance of success oh dear fragment of lost knowledge no I don't want fragments of lost knowledge I want directly theories fragment of lost knowledge there is a chance uh, it's rather rare of you going straight from here uh, to a theory stage without uh, stepping through the fragment of lost knowledge or forbidden knowledge or whatever and I am being fairly unlucky yes I am being extremely unlucky I only found three fragments with uh, with those items oh well <coughs> Oh well, unfortunate as it is. Let's see, 36 chance of forbidden. Yeah, charm of the death. I don't know what is it. I don't know what this is, but I won't be researching it for now. It's difficulty tricky. And now we're researching other items in the meantime. So let's see, right now, what do I know? Let me check my Thomonomicon, if I manage to find it into this mess. There we go. Arcane Focus. Regular Arcane Focus. Oh no, this is the Air version. The Earth, Fire, Charm of Cleaning, Crucible of the Ice, already made one. Pickaxe of the Core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can create wisps. Oh well. The Thomic Restorer, which acts, I suppose, like a talisman of uh, repair. The Thomium Crucible, I already crafted that. That's it. Dark Infuser. We might need to craft one of these, but since the only recipe I know of forbidden knowledge is the Wand of Bone, well, no real need to. And nothing else. Hmm. I'd really like to get my hands on the on the Googles of revealing, but I suppose I will need to craft oh, void ingot. I'm going to need to craft first some sort of. There we go. 
some sort of uh, yeah the thermometer before that and for that I need to craft another items. Oh concentrated evil I really like I'd really like to get my hands on you. So let me see. We have uh, Thummy Crystallizer difficulty moderate, shovel of renewal moderate also. Okay, can start with those. Hearth, tricky, tortuous. Oh. I already exhausted my easy opportunities. Hey, a hack axe of the stream. Hmm. Once of reversal, stabilize singularity. Seven leaks goods moderate. Axe of the stream. Somic duplicator. Somic duplicator. Once of reversal. Traveling trunk. Okay, we got ourselves some moderate items. Let's try to research them. There's 9% failure, 83% success. Because I am boosting my research with the book solves. Even then, it's hard to find uh, an answer. And uh, save all those hard uh, theories you're not using or you don't plan to use. Uh, the crystallizer, the traveling trunk. And the discoveries once you've learned them and placed them in your Thomonomicon because you might want to use them to get some bees or use them to boost your research. Oh come on, I want a traveling trunk. Shovel of renewal, okay. Traveling trunk. Soul sounds and enchanted wood. Mm. Being a fan of this world I can only want that uh, item. Want it badly. Oh, seven league boots. Well, I am going to require boots of striding which I don't which I don't know how to craft. Oh. I fail. I failed the options. Okay, let's see. This is the finishing. I said this is finishing, so finish already. Perfect. Somic crystallizer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And I was thinking of something, but I can't. Oh, yes. Mm. I was thinking of checking how things were on the automatic system. More than likely, the macerators got priority on the use of the electric furnaces. So we might as well start crafting ourselves some interesting items. Let's see. Empty cells. <laughs> now you can fill your empty cells using this item here, the pump from industrial craft, which you can craft like so and it uh, requires electricity to work. Or since uh, are, uh, I don't know two, three patches ago, maybe a little more, you can directly fill them like buckets. Oh, I did mess right now. Be mindful of the time it takes for the water to refill itself. So yeah, right clicking or automatic crafting. And uh, by the way, remember one little thing. Once you place them in the comp in the extractor, you will discover they no longer stack. Oh, look, the rubber wood is here. Well, the system already finished, so we might have some. Qu yeah, quicksilver. 
We have Quicksilver in there. Where was I stretching? Oh, downstairs. Of course. So I'm going to save this uh, rubber wood and place in this tractor the water cells, let it uh, extract. And I will be back with you in a second to craft the last item of this episode. And if you remember where I placed my copper cable, please tell me, because I don't have the slightest idea of where I place them. Uh, I'm going to need to craft myself some more copper cabling. And yeah, I know I am under siege by those little pests out there. Don't worry, <laughs> I plan to ignore them till they go away. What do you mean it won't work? And yes, I know, I should place some si some signs or something so I don't, uh, don't need to... well, search, search so hard for all these items. Perfect. And as I told you before, uh, the coolant cells don't stack. Let's move this out from here, for now at least. And let me think, uh, it was a little like uh, this, yeah. Okay, let me grab my, myself some more of this. Well, there's only one. And, well, for example, five. And you're going to see how this works. Ta da! And since they don't stack, you better have something connected to here. Okay, just uh, three are more than enough. Let's place two in here. See how, ma how quicker they go? Of course, that means they are sucking up much more power. However, I don't have any power issues right now. Uh, I didn't even use that much of my lab pack. See? Because, after all, remember, I have four mid uh, low voltage uh, solar panels up there, which means uh, they, each of those is producing eight energy units per, per tick, which means I am producing 32 energy units per tick. And ain't I? I should be. Yes. Eight. Yeah, should be. And uh, I should be consuming a little more. I don't know. Either it is the, the overclocker upgrade is now consuming much less uh, resources, or or the advanced uh, solar panels are producing much more energy. Okay, three more. Where am I going to place you three? Well. Two are going to be in here, like this. And in here I'm going to place this one for the future. I'm going to remove uh, at least one or two from here. But yeah, I plan to craft as much of these uh, overclockers as I can. Anyway, I believe this is a good propping up point. Oh dear, I already messed up things right now. Uh, for this episode, I hope you liked it. I am proud I managed to get it under the 30 minutes uh, mark. And on the next episode, I hope I will be crafting more of these uh, systems. You can see we already have Eternalis fuel, which we can use to update a, a, a block of diamonds to dark matter. And with dark matter, we can either craft some really nifty stuff. Oh! The rest matter recipe has changed. In the where last time I checked, it was uh, eight eternalis fuel and one dark matter instead of three dark matter and six eternalis fuel. So now it's more expensive. Yeah, I could craft myself a dark matter shovel, but I am not really a fan of those. No, I will craft myself more than likely a collector mark two, 
so I can get my hands on more stuff quicker. I am not going to craft a relay, at least for now, because, uh, well, they destroy items and transform them in, on EMC automatically, but I do not require that for now. That's because, uh, well, uh, I can manually do that using my Mark I Clean Star I or my Clean Star Ein and uh, the transmutation table. So that's it. This, this has been episode uh, 14, no, 15. This has been episode 15. I hope you liked it and I'll see you around. Bye!